All right, guys. So there's a few things that I want to discuss with you guys today, because a lot of you have been like, should I buy a house? Should I wait for the rates to come down? Where should I start? Now, the real question is thinking about buying a home. There's a few things that you actually have to ask yourself, like for buyers pricing, you know, for first time home buyers, you know, it's just like, okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, prices are going to come down. There has to be a recession sometime. The market's going to crash. People were going on this over and over and over again. So now if you're thinking of buying a home this year, you're probably paying closer attention than normal to the housing market. Because of course, you want to see what the prices are going to do, right? And you're getting your information from a variety of channels, the news, social media, your real estate agent, like me, I'm telling you, conversations with friends and loved ones. And the list goes on and on. And sometimes when you are actually getting, you know, talking to people that don't even own a house or anything else, it's just like, mm, do I really need a house? Or is it a t right time to buy? And sometimes they even talk to you about it, out of it without even knowing that. So now this is why you're coming to me and I'm giving you this information. Most likely home prices and mortgage rates are coming up a lot. So yes, they've already discussed the prices are going to go down, not down. The interest rates are going to go down. You got amazing incentives from builders, 3.99%. Oh, but now here are the top two questions you need to ask yourself as you make your decision, including the data that helps cut through the noise, meaning where do I think home prices are heading? I'm going to let you think about that for a little bit. Now, one reliable place you can turn to information on the home price forecast is the home price expectations survey from Fannie Mae. This is actually going to give you a more of where the prices are going to go down. I mean, where the prices are going to go and, you know, a survey of over 100 economists, real estate experts and investment and market strategists. According to the most recent release, the experts are projecting home prices will continue to rise through at least 2020. So what does that mean for you? That means that, you know, home prices are going to keep on going up. This is going to be like, okay, what else am I going to do? Um, and where are you going with all this? You know, are, is it a right time for to actually buy a house or not? You know, is it, um, should you stay? Should not? So why does this matter to you? While there, while the percentage of appreciation may not be as high as it was in the recent years, what's important to focus on is that the survey says, well, we'll see price rises not fall for a the at least next five years. And what does that mean to you? And home prices rising even at a more moderate pace. You know what? That's I mean, they're just not going to be going all forward and like, oh, yeah, we, we no. it's going to be more like mm, like that. So if they're saying that for the next five years, prices are going to continue to um, increase, what does that mean for you? So at least for the next five years and home prices rising, even at a more moderate pace is good news, not for the market, but for you too. It means by buying now, your home will likely grow in value and you should gain home equity in the next years ahead. But if you wait based on these forecasts, the home will only cost you more later. And this is what I've been talking to a lot of people lately. It's just like, okay, what's going on? Our home price is going to go um, down. Are they going to come up? <clears throat> Should I wait? But I was talking to a client last night and he's like, but Cindy, home prices are going to continue going up. And I don't really know. I mean, but it's too high. I'm like, look, if we compare houses in the 1950s and 1970s and the 1990s and five years ago, it's just going to continue going up. We're never going to see a house, I mean, knocking on wood, you know, like the prices in the 1950s or, you know, payments like in the 1950s because of inflation. I mean, everything keeps on rising. Yes, everything keeps appreciating. Yes, I mean, it's life cycle so now the second question is that you should ask yourself is where do i think rate 
rates are heading. Right over the past year, mortgage rates spiked up in a response to economic uncertainty. Right, inflation and more. I mean, we saw interest rates up to eight, nine, ten percent. That's insane. But there's an encouraging sign for the market and mortgage rates. Inflation is moderating, and here's why: this is such a big deal if you're looking to buy a home. So when inflation cools, mortgage rates generally fall in response. So this is what's happening. That's exactly what we've seen in the recent weeks. So that means inflation has cooled down and rates are coming a little bit, little bit down, down, down. And now that the Federal Reserve has signaled they're pausing their federal funds rate increases and may even cut rates in 2024. So experts are even more confident we'll see mortgage rates come down. So what does this mean for you? So Danielle Hell, chief economist at Realtor.com explains, mortgage rates will continue to ease in 2024 as inflation improve and Fed rate cuts gets closer. So that means you're going to start decreasing rates. And what does that mean? A key factor in starting to provide affordability relief to home buyers. That means rates come down, prices go up. So as an article from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, says mortgage rates likely have peaked and are now falling from their high of nearly 8%. This is likely, this likely will improve housing affordability and entice more buyers to return to the market. Now, if we're actually seeing interest rates decrease, does that mean that you will want to buy a house? Does that pique your interest? Is that something that you might want to do? Hmm. Okay, now, no one can say absolutely certainty, you know, that where mortgage rates will go from here. Because, I mean, right now, we're seeing everything all over, especially if we go ahead and see um, not only mortgage uh, rates going up, but builders incentivizing buyers now, hey, I'm going to give you a 3.9% so you can buy this house. I mean, there's other things tied to it, but is it something that will get you through the door and buy your house, your dream home for the next few years? I mean, you can always refinance. Keep in mind, you marry the house, your divorce or rate, it doesn't matter where it is. So now, like I said, no one can say with absolute certainty where mortgage rates will go from there. But the recent decline and the latest decision from the Federal Reserve to stop their rate increases signals there's hope on the horizon. While we may see some vol volatility here and there, affordability should improve as we continue to ease. So if you're thinking about buying a house, you need to know what to expect with home prices and mortgage rates. While no one can say for certainty or for certain where they'll go, making sure you have the latest information can help you make an informed decision. So this is a, this is the two things that I need to tell you guys. So for the five next years, we're going to see increase in prices, home prices, right? So now we're actually saying because inflation has cooled down, what does that mean? That means that actually interest rates are going down. We already know that the estimated home performance will be between the next five years. We're going to see an increase in this year around 2.35%, 2025, 2.70%. 2026, 3.67%. Now 2027, a 4.06%. And guess what? 2028, 4.15%. So is this something that you would like to have in your pocket? Or would you can do you want to continue throwing away money just paying someone else's mortgage? Think about that. So if you have any questions, this is Cindy Pressgraves with Cindy's Realty Group, and I hope you enjoyed my video or podcast about real estate. And are you going to be buying a house this year or not? Or are you just going to continue waiting and just, you know, because this is like the stock market, if you put it this way. When you buy a house, you're actually putting money to the stocks. This is like stocks. And you're going to see it growing and growing and growing.
So if you're saying that every single year there's going to be an increase of percentage and value appreciation in your house, isn't that money in your pocket? Isn't that the greatest investment you can do? Think about that and let me know. This is Cindy Pressgraves with Cindy's Realty Group. Buy virtual properties. Have a beautiful day, people.